What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Diddy No. Coming to you again on another exclusive video. As you can see, this car was stolen February 13th in Kankakee. It wound up 45 minutes to an hour away in Chicago. I happened to be right behind the thieves, trailing three stolen cars, two Jeeps, and this Mopar. I mean, so basically, what I'm here to inform you, if you have any push button car, any push button, you need to invest into aftermarket alarm system for your car, or you can be a victim in under five minutes. Meaning if you don't want to wake up, you know, and getting ready to go to work or leaving a grocery store or whatever you may be doing to be able to venture back to your car and not be there, but you want it to be there, you need to invest in the aftermarket alarm system. That's the only way it's going to save you. Simple as that. And if you're paying attention, they're on the wrong side of the road, and here comes the stolen scat pack from Kankakee, an hour away from where it got stolen from. Man, 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 what this world is coming to. As you can see, they're driving on the wrong side of the street in oncoming traffic, keeping the Challenger with no plate in the middle. Couldn't get the plate or what was going on with the first one. But the back vehicle plate is G-O-R-D-I-E-3. Like Gordy 3. Stolen. Busted back window. Going. I followed them all the way. Well, I actually wasn't following them. They was actually going the same way I'm going. Hitting Lakeshore Drive. They also hit Lakeshore Drive. I let them go on about their business. And I went on about mine. Besides that. Y'all be safe out here, man. This is 6.50, 7 o'clock in the morning. You got your name of my car right there. You got some of your controls and you got GPS location. And I got my hand module right here. But let's go ahead and just hit the unlock. As you can see, everything controlled from the phone. Hey, either phone or module, it's up to you. But I just showed you, works with no problem. All right, let's finish this video off. As you can see, blue light is gone. All right, let's take it off this tripod and get a little closer. As you see, it's on, ready, able to do whatever you needed to do. And the main thing you needed to do is what? Secure your ride. So we gonna get in here. my keys put my keys up there as you can see the keys up there they go to brake step on the brake push the button car won't start no matter what I do got my feet all the way on the brake push this button Car is not starting, and you see it right there. Keys, comfy start. Igla pin code system. And the Igla pin code system is what? Nothing but a digital cutoff switch, as you can see. You got a cutoff system from CompuStar, but as you can see, the alarm is off. So the car should start, because I disabled the alarm system for CompuStar. But the second protection on this car it's pushing on the brake, push the button, no start. You need to enter a digital pin code, which is buttons from here, buttons right there, whatever buttons I decide. But let me go ahead and put my code in. 
Y'all can look at this while I put my code in. See the lights flash? Letting you know the right code has been entered. Step on the brake. The car starts. As soon as I turn the car off, step on the brake, try to start it again, as you can see, no go. I even got down here, even got the emergency brake release, <laughs> secure, I mean Mopar, yeah, y'all know how we do it. That they call us when they try to steal your car with a USB, but you don't have to have that happen anymore. Once you come see us. Car will not start anymore. As you can see, you get alerted right on your phone and on the remote control, and they will not be able to start the car with the USB. Once you turn off the alarm, once you disarm that alarm and turn it off, then and only then. Will it start? For more information, give us a security specialist a call, 773-772-542. One, on your balls. Two, grab a handful. Three. <laughs> Story. It's been a busy past couple of weeks for the security shop in River Grove. Steve Labello is the owner and says more customers are looking to protect their cars after seeing a spike in carjackings. I've been doing this since 1993 and I've never seen it this bad. Labello says customers have two options. The first is to install what's called a starter disabled and it's pretty universal. We install new aftermarket systems and we disable them from communicating with each other. So factory remote can't communicate with the new remote, and the new remote can only communicate to the factory system. He says the alarm system can be paired with an app that can basically serve as your car key. I tell customers that if they get carjacked, don't panic. Just go in your drone app, wait for that engine to show that it's off, press lock, car will never start again. Labella walks us through the second option, a security feature that he says is mainly seen in Europe. He says in addition to a key, you would need a pin code to start your car. As soon as I go to put it in drive, stall the engine out. Now if I put it in park and turn it off and try to restart it, now it will not start at all. It needs to see a pin code. The installations could cost at least $550, and for some, that's money well spent. It gives you a better feeling when your car's out in the street. Thank you for calling SMA Security Specialist. This is Jose Lito speaking. How can I help you? Yeah, so remote to start. Oh, yeah, yeah. You called the right place. Well, then, yeah, we got all the remote to start. Matter of fact, we got the latest in computer start technology for you, well, then, Yeah, this is the perfect time of year, too, because you know it's getting free or something. We don't want you freezing your Totinski while you wait for that hoopty to warm up. <laughs> so what type of car you got? It's a Kia. A Kia? No man there? Please tell me you got a long system on that thing. No, I don't. What? What you mean, buddy? You don't know the Kia boys out here? It's the Kia boys. Yeah, the Kia boys. Man, we need to get you hooked up with a with an alarm system. You need to come down here right away, both they man fan. Did your Cadi Freco borrow your car too? Yeah, he do. He does? He drops me off at work. He drops you off at work in the oh, morning? I don't know where he be at with my car. Oh yeah? And you don't know what he be doing with your car? Well, don't worry. Cause we got the latest technology called Drone Mode. We will send out a drone to follow that Cadi Freco in your car all day. You'll always know where he is. Oh wow, really? Yeah. How much is that gonna cost? How much is it gonna cost? Don't worry about that. If la cosa tan mala, we got financing down here. You can come apply for that SNAP finance payment plan. 
walk away with like three thousand dollars worth of stuff for maybe like thirty nine dollars today. Oh my god! Yeah, just for you. Yeah, come down here, buddy. That's for us to leave them. What are you fucking nuts? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>